everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a accordion wallet time lapse tutorial <laughs> that is a mouthful, but it's going to have a clear taped seam, clear taped stripe, coin pouch, two expandable sections, and the ID. And I also showed you guys how I did my slits. So if you want to see how I made it, keep on watching. So here's what you're going to need to make it. I used three rolls of tape, clear tape, exacto knife, scissors, ruler, cutting mat, a card and ziplock and I also did use some plastic for the ID but I did not show that now you're going to start the coin pouch how I made mine was I cut four pieces that were four inches I usually make eight inch piece and then I cut it in half and then I just stack it on top of the other this is how I make mine you don't have to make it this way but this is how it is easiest for me so as you can see here I was kind of trying to show that I had four pieces now I'm going to take my ziplock and place the tape right underneath the ziplock but I'm going to make sure that it's not quite on the ziplock because it won't zip. Right here I was giving the baby some gum because she wanted some so I gave her some gum. But you're going to fold your ziplock onto the tape to make a piece for you to grab. You're going to do that to both pieces and then you're going to stack it up to be three inches tall or three squares in my case and that is what you're going to do now. So now you're going to flip over both of the pieces. In my case, I did use fuchsia because it matches the glitter, and that is what I like to do when I use any color glitter. So I'm going to take that in the inside of my coin pouch. Again, I'm going to do it right underneath the ziplock because you don't want to put it on top because, again, it will interfere with the zipping. So I'm going to do that. Put a big piece of tape on the side, which I ended up using in just a second because if you can see right here, I ended up cutting the piece really weird. Um, that I cut off right here so I ended up taking that piece of tape off of my scraps and peeling the scraps off of it and cutting another piece to cover this sticky right by the ziplock. Now you're going to cover the sticky in the bottom of the coin pouch so what I like to do is I put the pieces almost touching as you can see right here and I just add clear tape over it. I'm not really worried about getting all the air bubbles out, so I just like run my card over and go on. It's nothing big because nobody's really going to see that but you. Then you're going to zip up your coin pouch, and I usually place my fingers on the bottom just to help it out a little bit. So I'm going to do that, then I'm going to cut off the sides a little bit to make it straight and get these scraps off. Now you're going to take a, another piece of your coin pouch color that is three and a half inches long. Cut that in half and add half and half to the sides. It's kind of hard to explain, but you don't want the piece that is going to fold into the coin pouch to touch. So as you can see, I don't touch the top as much. So I'm going to fold those sides in and put the coin pouch to the side. So I was opening my ziplock just to make sure that it was zipping correctly. And then I'm going to take a piece of clear tape that is three and three fourths and cut that in half and cover these seams on my coin pouch. This is very personal preference. I'm not saying you have to do this. I just like to do it because once you take a wallet somewhere and you use it a lot and keep getting things in and out of it, it seems to get dirty. So I like to clear tape my seams just for that reason. Now you're going to make your expandables. How I make my expandables is I do the fold in half method. So you will see what I'm talking about in just a second. So you're going to take two pieces that are 12 inches long and cut them in half so that you have four pieces that are six inches long. Fold all of them in half so that you have four expandables. Now you're going to take a piece that is six inches long. You're going to cut that in half and then in half again. So in half horizontally and half vertically so that you have four pieces that are three inches long. This is what you're going to do to make the pieces to attach your expandables. So you're going to add the clear tape half and half onto the left side of two of them and the right side of two of them and attach the rounded side of the expandable to the rounded side or the opening of the coin pouch. I know that a lot of people do the three inch piece and cut it into fourths, but I like to do the three inch piece and cutting it into fourths, but having an inch piece for each. 
because it covers the seams on the outside of the coin pouch for what you fold it over. Again, it's personal preference. You can change any of this, really, but this is just how I make it, and a lot of you guys have wanted me to do this. So I decided to just do it like this, and this is just how I have learned to do it and how I continue to do it. So I wanted to apologize really quickly for that noise. It is because I'm wearing a sweatshirt, the same sweatshirt in the video, because it is super cold here. It's like 40 degrees outside. It's supposed to be like 30 tonight, so it's really cold, and I'm wearing the sweatshirt, so ignore that. I'm sorry about that. I forgot to hold my headphone. I'm holding my headphone right now, so you guys can't hear it. But right now you're going to take another piece that is three and a half and cover the sides of the expandables. Remember, again, just like your coin pouch, not to touch the pieces on the top. together. And then you're going to cut a triangle out of them just to basically like right in the middle of the coin pouch. Right here I showed you guys, but I did it again because the triangle came out a little wonky. So I showed you guys again. And then you're going to fold those pieces down to make everything rounded. You're going to make a piece that is 9 and 3 fourths inches long and cut that in half. As you guys can see right here, I made the piece a little bit wonky on the edge because I wanted to know what piece to use, like what side of it to use for my ID to make it straight. Then you're going to lay your tape down on the inch line and make the piece, the whole piece, 4 inches by 9 and 3 fourths. If you are using glitter, I prefer to clear tape on my glitter. You don't have to though. It's again, personal preference. You guys will hear that throughout this whole video. But I like to clear tape the part with the stripe first, then the sides, again, personal preference. But that is just how I learned to do it and that's how I like to do it. Then you're going to trim the edges to make it all straight and flip that over and add your piece of tape. If you guys can see here in a second, I try to line up the tape, but like I said, I wanted to save my roll of tape so I didn't end up lining it up because it would waste so much tape. So I ended up not lining it up. I just used the tape on the middle, then the sides, and I added a half of an inch of tape on all sides, but on the ends. I added more like an inch or two because that's just how I like to do because it gives you a little bit of leverage and room to work with. So that is what I did and right here you can see where I tried to line it up but I ended up not. So again, personal preference, if you want to line it up, go for it. So a lot of people are going to ask me where I got this clear tape. I actually got it at a store called Grandview that was put in my town. I got two rolls because that's all that they had. And I honestly did not buy it for the fact of using it for like the outside of things. Because I honestly didn't think it would be that good. Duck brand and scotch tape mixed together. It is literally amazing. I love it. So I'm happy I have the two rolls. Now is the time that you need to trim your ID. I just trimmed mine and then I clear taped it as well. As you can see right here, I was flipping it over to try to figure out what side would be facing upwards. Then I added my ID to the part that was facing upwards and my ID was the same size as the bottom. So it was four inches, which I like to do anytime that I have plastic that I can cut to whatever size. I cut the bottom down to a half of an inch, then I covered the sticky in the bottom. Now I'm going to cut the slits at the bottom. I cut at an angle and for my ID slits, this is the same kind of concept. I cut downwards instead of upwards and I fold that over. I don't know why I do it this way. I just have always done it this way. So this is how I do it. And then I show you guys right here in just a second how it turned out. Now that I have my ID attached, I'm going to cut down the bottom to be a half of an inch after I fold down the tape, of course. Then I'm going to cut the little things that I fold in. I can't even think of the word right now, but I'm going to cut them down to where they're not as long because you don't really need a lot on that. I'm going to take the rounded side of the expandable and attach it to the bottom, leaving a little bit of room at the top to fold in at an angle. And right here, you guys can see I used some scotch tape just to cover the sticky after I folded that in so that the piece would stay down. I'm going to do that to both sides. Now you're going to cut out the triangles and fold the expandables over. Then you're going to fold the whole piece upwards and I like to cut slits just as like a little triangle sort of. 
and I just cut upwards from the expandable and once you have all of your tape folded in you can fold that in to make the expandable even more rounded. So I show you guys here, I'm sorry it's kind of hard to explain for this part, but then you're just going to fold over the tape that is right beside or right under the ID and then you will be done with your wallet. So this is how the wallet turned out like you've seen in the intro. I really like how it turned out. I think that turned out really cute and I love how the glitter looks. That is the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up and tell me down below some other tutorials that you want me to do like this. And I will see you guys in my next video.